All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So this is your oil hacks, tips and tricks. Basically, this was a bunch of information that was collected by a ton of doTERRA leaders and users. So I have not necessarily done all of these. I'm just sharing the information that we've collected. So the first one, Slim and Sassy Gum. This can open your sinuses, it helps with heartburn, it soothes headaches, and it helps with morning sickness. Airplane pressure, if you're dealing with that, you can use Melaleuca and Digestin, and Slim and Sassy Gum also helps. They recommend using Aroma Touch for clogged ears. So just keep in mind, you're not ever gonna put any oils actually in your ears, you would put this behind your ears. If you, I did try this one. So if you dissolve the Serenity soft gels in your kid's bath, it really helps calm them down. So those are normally intended for you to take internally uh, to help with a good night's sleep. But you can just put them in the bath and they will dissolve or you can just pop them in your hand. That's kind of what I did. And it smells amazing and helps calm them down. For those of you that are on, um, we're getting a little bit of background noise. If you guys could just mute yourselves, it would be a little bit more helpful. So deodorant ideas. You can use the Breathe Vapor Stick for deodorant. You can use the Mud Mask um, as a deodorant. You can use the On Guard Toothpaste as a deodorant. Some people use the Intune Oil, the Hope Oil, or Whisper. Uh, you can also use fractionated coconut oil with Cypress. HD Clear, Purify, or Clary Calm. And you would just put those directly on underneath your armpits and they do the trick. Correct X. So there's a ton of uses for a Correct X that people are using that you might not think of. So you can use it as a lip conditioner, a lip gloss. You can use it as a chapstick. Some people use it as a lip plumper. So you would just add a drop of peppermint and put it on your lips and it plumps them right up. You can also use it for as an eye cream and for dark circles under your eyes or any sort of puffiness. You can use it as cuticle cream on cracked feet. If you get any bug bites, it stops the itching for that. Uh, tattoo healing. So anyone that gets a new tattoo, this is going to be way better than putting those petroleum creams on there. And if you have hemorrhoids, they're suggesting two tubes. <laughs> Maybe your hemorrhoids are out of control and one isn't going to be enough and you just need to. Um, it would also be great for cold source. I actually use On Guard for cold source. So that's also another oil hack. Um, Melaleuca also works for cold sores and I've heard lemon and lavender too. I prefer the taste of On Guard over the Melaleuca, but I think the Correct X would also be great. So Virage Toner, this is an awesome toner. I actually learned about this hack when, um, I think it was about a month ago, right after I got a sunburn. So I tried it and it soothes your sunburn instantly. It also smells amazing. So normally you would use this for clear skin, but you can spray it on your back too for back acne. Uh, use it as an aftershave. It helps set your makeup. If you have a mommy belly, so anyone that has stretch marks or just had a baby, you would spray it on there. And some people say, add it to your hair for bounce. If you want to repurpose the bottle, it's a really pretty bottle. So you could make your own peppermint mister with that. You can make your own essential oil for breeze, um, any sort of body spray blend of your own perfume or a pillow spray. Like you could just add some lavender oil with some witch hazel and water and just put it in that and reuse the bottle. So the shampoo, it's also used as a body wash and you can use it on your babies. I actually use this on my daughter um, because it doesn't have those harsh chemicals and it smells really good. Obviously, if it gets in her eyes, it's going to sting because it doesn't have that. It's not a kid free, tear free formula, but um, it's way safer than a lot of the products out there. Conditioner, people are using it when they're in a pinch and they don't have shaving cream. You can also use it to condition your leather. Uh, you can use it on your dryer balls to reduce static and soften your clothes. So some of us who live in drier climates, this might come in really handy. The Root to Tip Serum. I am obsessed with this stuff. So this is uh, really great for dandruff. You can use it to detangle any hair for acne, actually. I, some people are using it to detail the dashboard on their car and you can add it as a glaze for hold or moisturizer for fine hair. 
dr lemon. So I, when I was growing up, everyone was using lemon, actual lemons to lighten their hair, but you can actually use lemon oil. So you do 20 drops lemon, put it in a four ounce spray bottle. And if you fill it with water, it will naturally lighten your hair. And the body wash. It works great as a facial cleanser in place of shaving cream. I actually tested this one out and it worked pretty great. Didn't dry out my skin at all. And I have pretty sensitive skin. The Breathe Vapor Stick. So you can use this when you have a headache. So if you're in a pinch and you don't have your peppermint and you happen to have your Breathe Vapor Stick, you're just going to put these on, put it on your temples and it will help um, reduce the headache, but it also helps with anxiety and muscle aches and any sort of stuffiness. The mud mask. So a lot of people use this, we mentioned before, as the deodorant, right? You just rub it and let it dry. But you can also use it to detox your armpits. Um, and as an acne spot treatment. So you're just going to put a little dab on and use, <laughs> another person had mentioned they use it as a blemish cover-up. So instead of makeup, um, they just put it right on there. And they're recommending orange for a pedicure soak. Lemongrass is used to remove nail polish. That's something I had just learned. I've never heard of that before. You guys will have to try that one out. And you can use myrrh and coconut oil to strengthen and harden your nails. Myrrh also helps stop pantyhose runs. I'm not sure how many of you are still wearing pantyhose, but if you are, you can uh, use myrrh. And tips for lash growth and lengthening. So it, lavender, a lot of us know about the lavender trick, but you can also put lavender and rosemary together in your mascara bottle. So you're just going to do one drop of each. Um, and then if you have any empty mascara bottles, you can do the two of these with castor oil in there and you can use it for brow growth. So you just put it on your brows. So here's an example of DDR Prime and what it can do for your flowers. So if they are looking like they are on the left, then you're going to put two drops of DDR Prime in there and then look at that four hours later. Kind of amazing. Terrazyme. So anyone that's familiar with doTERRA and Terrazyme, you're supposed to normally take it with food. And the reason why is because it breaks down all that sludge that's in your stomach and it kind of just clears it all out and helps with those enzymes that aren't breaking down. But the oil hack here is if you take it on an empty stomach, it's actually going to eat away at that yeast and it's going to promote clear skin. So if anyone's dealing with yeast issues, this is going to help you with that. Now on guard. So we all love on guard. There's so many great uses for on guard, but this can actually, the cleaner concentrate can be used as a makeup brush cleaner. It can help with wounds. So you can clean your wounds. It's a great face wash. It's amazing as a carpet cleaner and a stain remover. And if you're struggling to get like a, any sort of nut butter jar clean, you know, peanut butters, you can just add lemon and this cleaner concentrate and have it soak for two hours upside down and it will be good as new. Now the soap, the hand wash, can also be used as a facial cleanser and it gets off the dark brown henna color. So if you're getting any of those henna tattoos, it will wash that right off. Uh, and then it's also a great veggie wash and I actually have this soap throughout my house and I've used it several times. I just have it in my kitchen sink and if I've got, you know, lemons, for example, um, I'll just wash the outside of a lemon or an apple with the soap and it's good as new. And you can also use it to wash eyelash extensions. Now the soft gels, the on guard soft gels, if you, one of your kids is not feeling well and you happen to have these, you you can just open the capsule and put it along the kid's spine or feet for great immune boosters. The detergent, so you can actually use this as a stain remover too, and you can put it in a roller bottle or a spray bottle, and it cleans your carpet. So the On Guard toothpaste, you can use this to clean your jewelry, you can use it to polish your furniture, it cleans glass tops, your fireplace, and if you have dingy toenails, you're going to use it to clean that. Now the Zendocrine Complex and the PB Assist, if anyone's got a lingering cough, these two come in really handy to get rid of that lingering cough. And Zendocrine is also great for acne, so you can use it as a spot treatment for that. 
But if you, maybe you've been having a little bit too much fun and you were overserved, right? You're going to use this before you go to bed to avoid a morning hangover. Now you can use the oil. That's what's pictured right here. You can put it on your stomach, like, and on your throat. Or if you have the Zendocrine soft gels, you're just going to take two of those before bed and you wake up as good as new. And I actually have tested this out and it works really great. Um, and if you have that lingering cough, you can gargle with Zendocrine and it will help with that. Poison oak relief. So if you have a Zendocrine soft gel, you could take that with the complex. So there's three different Zendocrines. There's the Zendocrine soft gels, there's the Zendocrine complex, and there's the Zendocrine oil to make it even more confusing. But you're gonna take the soft gels and the complex daily to help with that poison oak relief. And they say in addition, you can fill a spray bottle with purify fractionated coconut oil and water and apply it to skin. Arbor Vitae. So Arbor Vitae can help with pimples and canker sores. You can use one drop with the Virage Serum for acne and wrinkles. You can spray it on areas where you want your dog to stop chewing or marking its territory too. Melaleuca, so you can use this as an aftershave. It stops hair bumps, ingrown hair, and you can use it with fractionated coconut oil to remove your eye makeup. Slim and Sassy, so this is something you can help to for sleep. People are saying rub it on the bottoms of your feet for sleep, and you can use it as a substitute for on guard and use it as a cleaner. Balance, so balance helps. Um, it's a kid tamer. It helps with bug bites, uh, aftershave, your bikini line, babies, diaper rashes. Um, it actually helps with yeast rashes. So if any of your kids end up getting a yeast rash, balance is amazing for that. And they say to apply it before you're getting your blood drawn. Immortel. So Immortel is great for bumps and bruises and scrapes. You can use it as like an owie stick. Just keep it in your purse or your diaper bag. Um, it's really good for a mood booster. There's a lot of people that apply it to their thyroid actually, and they've noticed improvements with that. It relieves sunburns. It helps improve vision. You can use it as a peri spray or, you know, for anyone that just had a baby, it helps with circumcisions and stretch marks. And it's a giddy up for men. <laughs> so you rub it on their left ankle. Now here's some additional oil uses. So Melissa, you could use for a cold sore. Past tense, you can use for bumps. The Jessen, which is normally used for anything stomach related, actually helps with allergies and congestion. I know a few people who say that it helps them whatever their um, you know, itchy, watery eyes or they can't stop sneezing, they just put a dot of like a dab of the digestion on their forehead in between their eyes. Some people put it behind their ears and they layer breathe on top of that for allergies. Peppermint and sandalwood together help with hiccups. Aroma Touch is great for sinus pressure. HD Clear is great for vaginal cleanliness. Cassia and Puri Purify are going to be used for UTI. And if anyone's dealing with cystic acne, you're going to want to try DDR Prime. And if you have any splinters, you can use lavender or clove for that. Uh, another one is cedar wood helps reduce pores. So does coriander. Balance, you can use that for hemorrhoids too. And white fur helps people with cramps. They also suggest using the allergy rollerball. So that's going to be your lemon, peppermint, and lavender. You can use it after your brows get waxed. It helps relieve them. Here's a few diffuser blends. So if you're looking for that apple pie smell, so fall is coming. This is a, a really nice scent. You can use Arbor Vitae and Cassia. If you want root beer, you would do Citrus Bliss and Wintergreen. And donuts, this one actually is one of my favorites, Purify and Citrus Bliss. It smells like fresh baked donuts. It's so yummy. So hormonal. So if you're dealing with anything um, hormonal, normally we would grab our Clary Calm or Clary Sage. But a lot of people say that Using fractionated coconut oil with geranium, ylang ylang, and lavender, you can rub it on your tummy and your private parts. It helps with that. If you're dealing with really bad cramps, you can use deep blue rub, white fur, and cypress. And if you have a yeast infection, you're going to use melaleuca and fractionated coconut oil for that with frankincense. Uh, and then the last one is an intimate lubricant. So you can use peppermint beadlets, cypress, and ylang ylang. And that is it. Pretty short, but a lot of helpful tips there. So I'm going to go ahead and stop our recording.
Does anyone have any questions? <laughs> 